Ethiopia is celebrating the construction of its Grand Renaissance Dam. It's five years since the project began. The dam is the biggest hydropower initiative in Africa. On completion, it will generate 6,000 megawatts of electricity. The government and people of Ethiopia are funding it themselves. The country is one of the fastest growing economies on the continent. The number of cranes, an indication of the volume of development currently underway. Electricity is key to the country's development plan. And Ethiopia plans to access the power of the Nile, the longest river in the world, is utilized by 10 countries, including Ethiopia, and is a major source of water for agriculture, domestic and industrial use. Experts from several countries, including South Africa, were asked to give their input. Visit the site, the locations, to check that place and the design is internationally accepted or not. They visited the dam four times. They check the Sudanese side, the land, the Egyptian side, and from the Ethiopian side. They collect every information. After a solo study of almost one year, they give the report, release the report for the three head of states and the people, the dam is internationally accepted. Yes. Is funding the nearly $5 billion Grand Renaissance Dam, a source of pride for its 94 million people. Once complete, the dam wall will be 175 meters high and 1,800 meters long, generating 6,000 megawatts of power. However, that is still not enough for an economy growing at around 11% annually. Even if we add these 6,000 megawatts, it can't satisfy the demand of the country this year. That's why we add more 12 projects. After five years, we'll have a capacity of generating 70,300 this year. The Grand Renaissance Dam is expected to start generating electricity from 2017. Chakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Johannesburg.